Um, briefly, I'll be speaking on stay on the mountain. Stay on the mountain. Elijah stayed on the mountain and he called down fire. Can you see that? He didn't call down fire from the plain ground. He stayed on the mountain and because he stood on the mountain, he was able to call down fire. You can't stay below and expect things that can only happen to people above to happen to you. <laughs> there are certain things you cannot do until you go to the mountain, until you stay above. For instance, you can't call down fire when you are below. No, you have to go above. You, you need to stay on the mountain. There are certain things you cannot do when, if you stay in the valley. Now, the, the realities of a man that is in the valley is different from the realities of a man that is on the mountain. For instance, a man that is in the valley cannot call down fire because he doesn't have that spiritual stature. He does not have that spiritual stamina. So for you to do that kind of thing Elijah did, you will need to stay on the mountain. Now the problem certain people have is that they are not on the mountain, yet they expect things that can only happen to those on the mountain to happen to them. Can you see that? Now, I would say mountain. Mountain here is not the physical structure. It's not the elevated land surface. That's not what I'm talking about. Your own mountain can be your intimacy with the Lord. Are you there? You cannot expect what a man that has intimacy with God is doing to also happen to you. You cannot expect that you will you 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 will also you will be able to do what a man that has intimacy with the Lord is doing. Of course, no. If you don't have intimacy with God, you may do little, but you cannot expect yourself to do much for the kingdom. Yes, because that one that has intimacy with the Lord spiritually is on the mountain. People like that can call down fire. Why you cannot? Because you don't have intimacy with the Lord. You discover that the more you go high, the more closer you become to God. So it means that a man that is on the mountain spiritually is closer to God than a man that is in the valley. So the more closer you move to God, the more authority you have. So when you see a man that has authority in the kingdom, don't heavy the man. What that means is that that's, that man is on the mountain. So the reason you cannot do what the man is doing for the kingdom, the reason you don't have that strength to produce uh, the same effect, to generate the same effect that man is generating for the kingdom is because both of you are not on the same location. You may be in the valley while that man is on the mountain. The higher you go, the closer you move to God. And the closer you move to God, the greater your authority in the kingdom becomes. So the, 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 the experience of a man on the mountain is far different from the experience of a man that is not on the mountain. One of the things you can do on the mountain is you can call down physical fire. Now, now calling down fire there means you can, you can walk in certain supernatural dimension that an ordinary person will never be able to do. Are you getting what I'm saying? For instance, let me give you some of the realities of a man that is on the mountain. A man that is on the mountain is closer to God, like I've said. And because he's closer to God, it means he has certain level of intimacy with the Lord. Now, because he's closer to God, he has more authority. So people like that can enter into a territory and say, this place, there will be no rain maybe for three years. And you discover that even in rainy season, there is no rain. Why? Why is that happening? It means that that man of God has called down fire. When we say called down fire, it may not necessarily mean the physical fire. Calling down fire is, is referring to those supernatural dimensions. Are you there? Those supernatural dimensions that is open to you because you are closer to God. Those supernatural dimensions that is open to you because you have chosen to stay on the mountain. Those supernatural dimensions that is open to you because you have drawn closer to God. Those are the things that is represented with that fire there. Are you there? So when I say, well, if you stay on the mountain, you'll be able to call down fire. I'm not necessarily saying that you'll be able to call down the physical fire or things. No. 
Are you there? What I'm trying to say is that you'll be able to do, you know, certain supernatural things naturally because of your, you know, because of your closeness to God. Even physically, you discover that a man that is, you know, as a, take for instance, if you are a managing director and you have, you have star that are working for you, the star that we enjoy most, you know, the worker that we enjoy most is the one that is closer to you. So the closest staff to you, we enjoy more. That's not because he's not, a, he's not one of the staff, but the reason he or she will enjoy more is because of the closeness to you. So the same thing also applicable, you know, the same thing also applies to God. When you draw closer to God, you will enjoy more. You have more authority. As a matter of fact, that worker that is close to you, in case there is any need for promotion, so that one that is close to you stand a chance of getting promoted faster than the rest. Why? Because of the level of closeness. So the more closer you move to God, the more authority you have. I, I hope you get what I'm saying. When you are on the mountain, you are closer to God. And not only closer to God, you are closer to His manifestations. So climbing the mountain... You know, climbing the mountain involves a lot of sacrifice. That's why you see that people on the mountain, spiritually, they can do more than people that are on the mainland. Why? Because those on the mountain, they have paid the price. They have sacrificed their life. You know the, the, the stress it takes to climb the mountain? Those, those, those steps you take as you climb the mountain, they are referred to as your labors, your sacrifices, your works. Are you there? Those are, those are the sacrifices. So, a man that chooses to stay on the mainland have not labored. So, labor in this context will be measured by your 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 level of of patience. Are you there? The, your level of perseverance in climbing the mountain. So, people try to climb. At some point, they felt, oh, the stress is too much, so they draw back. Those that will stay on the mountain, they are those people who are ready to labor and who are ready to, you know, to bear the pain as they focus on the gain that they have in Christ. I pray the Lord will help us even to draw closer to God in the name of Jesus.